Hi guys, Kratos here with another tutorial. Today, I will be showing you the most essential and important programs to install on your PC after format. The brand new installation of Windows 10 is lacking some of the must-have applications we use all the times. Some of these are pretty obvious like Google Chrome, but there are plenty of other everyday programs that deserve to be on your system. Okay, now let's start and here is what we have picked for you guys. I will be putting the links for you guys in the description, so check it out. For file compression and extraction, we need WinRAR. I'm gonna select the 64 bit version for that because that's the architecture of my PC. Windows actually includes the native support for simple zip files, but anything beyond the basics requires like a more powerful tool like WinRAR. And surprisingly, Google Chrome is our top browser pick. It's still super speedy, but you can choose Opera or Firefox if you want them. Let's download this one. And next for media we will need Media Player Classic and VLC. These two applications can play anything, including 4K videos. They are reliable with no need for outside codecs. When you are downloading VLC, just make sure to select the 64-bit version if that's what you have. For now guys, I'm gonna download everything at once and I will be showing you how to install each one of them properly after I finish. No Windows users should go without a PDF reader and what's better than the best free PDF reader and viewer used by over 525 million users, Fox with it. So let's download this one guys, it's a good one. The next program in our list guys is Notepad++. This one is optional, but if you tend to dig through HTML files, game codes and so on, Notepad++ is a great for making the text readable and easy to edit. The last two programs in our list guys are runtime programs, Silverlight and DirectX. You must have these two to avoid failures and never ending troubleshooting. Sooner or later you will probably need all of these for something, so you better get them now. Now let's wait for the downloads to finish. I'm gonna open the folder where I store the programs and before that let me just delete these ones, they are duplicate. Okay guys, now we are finished, we are ready to install all of these. Basically the installation is simple, just follow what I do in the video and I will come back when everything is installed. Okay guys, the installation is finished. One thing I like to do is to keep all these programs somewhere safe in my computer. So I'm just gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna name it softwares and then I'm just gonna copy paste everything in there. Next, I'm gonna take this folder and start in my D drive. Okay, the last thing guys we need to do is to change the default apps. And what I mean by that is that we need to choose which programs in Windows 10 you want to open certain type of files. For example, when I double click a mp3 file, Windows open a default music program. But you can change that if you want to a better one like VLC we downloaded before. To do that, go to the startup menu, type apps and select default apps. Then click an app to see other apps installed on your system that can take its place and select that one and it's gonna be the default one from now. Okay guys, just do the same with all the apps and I guess we made it to the end of the video. I hope you like this one, subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Thanks guys and see you in the next one.